As you've gotten busy with the show in the last few years, that so you feel like you've lost some of your flexibility and a little bit of your turn. For the purposes of illustration, you're not quite a senior yet, but we're going to get you to overdo some of the overdo some of the senior golfers' faults that we see. Bruce, if you could watch and offer us some solutions, sure, please. Sure, absolutely. Let's go, John. Okay, John, let's have a look here. What we see is a very cramped address position. We've got the chin very, very low, tucked right into the chest. The club is not getting past. Your hands are about shoulder high. The club is just half towards three quarters length and backswing. Then you're trying to rush to hit the ball and your follow through is very restricted. I see that every day here at Royal Melbourne. The, the membership, we've got a lot of older members, and as they get older, they tend to be drawn more and more down to the ball. So it's not something you've done consciously, it is something that just happens with age, is that we do tend to crouch. And even when I look at the senior tour, I see the older pros a lot more stooped than they used to be. So what we want to see you do is stand up a little bit straighter. First thing, put the club flat on the ground. So I've got the club here, sitting as the club manufacturer made the club. What I need now is a nice turn of the shoulder. So my chin is up, my shoulders turn, and I've got a freedom right through the ball. So that club can go here, and it can go right through to here. So I get a good, solid follow through. Okay, let's see if you can do that for me. And the first thing we do is I put my right hand, my right arm underneath the chin. Mm. I put my right hand on your left shoulder and I say, rest your chin on my right arm. Okay? okay. Now that feels wrong. Mm. That feels like you are two to three inches right. too far from the ball. Mm. Okay? So we need at least 10 shots before you're going to get one properly on the club face. And then you'll get a little confidence to keep doing it. Okay, Johnny, let's see you do it. And already, that was a little bit longer. Let's see if we can take it back a little further. With that chin up, lengthen out the backswing. All right, much better. But because of your visual sighting of the ball, sure. you are feeling that you're too far away from it. That's why you hit it on the head. Trust. That was much, much better. A good stroke. You can see that the backswing and the follow through got nicely through. Okay. Good follow through. Okay, now what we need to do is just have the confidence to be able to do it. If we let it flow, trust is a big thing. When you're making changes in your golf swing, you need to have trust. All right, with a bit of luck and a bit of trust, you're going to find that that swing is going to flow for you. Fantastic advice there, Bruce. We can get you back in, gentlemen. Um, and I think that will resonate with a lot of our senior golfers out there. Something for Johnny to work on. I must, I must admit that last swing was the mo most turn I've seen him have for a little while. Bruce, what's a couple of the other key aspects that you see that seniors face? Well, I think basically seniors don't warm up. A lot of golfers don't warm up across the board because it's not a game that you're sort of seen as, you know, spending 10 minutes stretching like you would tennis and squash. Yeah. Um, people don't expect to pull muscles in golf. They do. Yep. What I'd like to see is uh, a, a stretching warm-up routine without doing too much. Okay. Um, the other thing is that because they stoop, they tend not to use their legs and okay. their feet. Now, yep. the brain's up here, the eyes up here, the feet are down there. It's a big distance between. It's very yep. easy as you get older to forget from hip down. Yep. Okay. So that when you're playing golf, you're really just thinking about using your hands and hitting the ball. You forget the importance of your legs and okay. the message doesn't get there as quick. It takes longer. So you've got to get that message going early from the brain down to the feet to make it work. Got to get the message right back down there. But so if the feet... your chin is down here, yep. then you're going to struggle 
no matter how much the message gets down. Okay, fantastic advice. Uh, thanks for your help today, Bruce. Now, you uh, teach down here at Royal Melbourne. I know you uh, teach a lot of seniors, but you're also available for every other age group as well. Absolutely. I'm here all the time. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank thanks, Jonathan. Thank, Thank you, John. Thank Terrific. You.